Getting the news for the first time that one is pregnant can come with its own anxiety. It can actually bring the joy to the couple that they are going to have a baby at one point in time. But pregnancy on its own is associated with the risks. Not all women experience the risks in pregnancy. That's why surveillance of pregnancy is very critical. In this case, I am dis going to discuss one of the major challenges that leads to fetal demise or the death of a fetus in utero or inside the womb. Welcome you all. My name is Mr. El Chitumba. I hope I find you well and I hope you are enjoying our tutorial. In this particular case, we are going to discuss what is called fetal hydrops. There are two basic categories of fetal hydrops. We do have what is called the immune hydrops and the non-immune hydrops fetalis. Immune hydrops fetalis can be caused by what is called recess incompatibility. I am not going to delve more into what is recess incompatibility, but recess incompatibility can cause what is called erythroblastosis fetalis and it can ultimately lead to the death of the fetus or the, the fetus can die postpartum. In which case, when we have got what is called non hydrops fetalis, it can have other causes. So, what is hydrops fetalis? Hydrops fetalis is also called fetal hydrops. It is a serious fetal condition defined as abnormal accumulation of fluid in two or more fetal compartments. It can include ascites, pleural effusion, pericardial effusion, and skin edema. In some patients, it may also be associated with polyhydraminous and placental edema. Hydrops is usually first recognized by ultrasonographic examination during the first or second trimester of gestation. Significant fluid collections are usually detected, but fluid accumulation may also be limited and thus escape routine ultrasonographic determination. So, what is the appearance sonographically of fetal hydrops. A fetus affected by hydrops fetalis can be seen to have a swollen body. So when fluid accumulates inside the abdomen in the peritoneal space, that is called ascites. So from the definition of hydrops fetalis, when we have got fluid collection in two or more pockets, we call that hydrops fetalis. We can actually have fluid collection in the lungs, a condition we call pleural effusion. And fluid can also accumulate in the subcutaneous layer of fat, which we call edema. So the fetus can be having edema or fluid just below the skin. And then you can also have fluid around the scalp accumulating when a fetus has got this condition which is called hydrops fetalis. Now, this is a sonographic image that is demonstrating a typical case of hydrops fetalis. What are we seeing here? We can see this is a gravid uterus. This is our placenta. You can see the placenta, anterior upper segment placenta, and this echogenic layer is our chorionic plate. And this is the placenta. Then what you are seeing here, which is an echoic, the unequic space, this is our amniotic fluid. And you can see nicely here the insertion of the umbilical cord at the umbilicus of the fetus. However, if you make an assessment of the fetal abdomen, you can see 
these are the bowels and you can see there's a fluid in the peritoneal space what we call ascites so this is not only the pocket that has got the free fluid if you go up that's our diaphragm separating the thorax in the abdominal cavity here and then you can see that in this space there's also an quick free fluid in the lungs so the fluid that you find in the thoracic region now is called pleural effusion so a combination of accumulation of free fluid in more than one pocket is what is referred to as eye drops fetalis or fetal eye drops so in this particular study we had a patient who came for routine ultrasound scan for the first time at 31 weeks the mother had tried to have a baby for a couple of years and they've been failing and it was their joy that they had finally made it they were pregnant for the first time in their lifetime and they were expecting to have a baby after the ultrasonographic scan here are the shocking findings this is a video demonstrating the findings so as you can see what we have here is fluid accumulation in the abdominal cavity so you can see fluid in the abdominal cavity what we are seeing here is our liver the right lobe of the liver and the left lobe of the liver and you can also see here our falciform ligament and these are the bowels as you can see from here falciform ligament our liver the left lobe the right lobe and our bowels so here you can see part of the gallbladder that is also floating in ascites then these are the ribs the fetal ribs you can see them here here we can see that the gallbladder is floating somewhere here and you can see nicely our false form ligament here then you can see also a floating right left lobe of the liver here and the right lobe of the liver is this one you can see that the bowels they are in the middle here and there is a whole lot of ascites ascites that is occupying all this peritoneal space playing the video again you can see the day coming is a nice gallbladder our gallbladder is coming nicely here that's our gallbladder and then it's disappearing so this is a nice case of ascites which is accumulating in the abdominal cavity so on Doppler interrogation we are supposed to see blood flow you will know that there are major vessels that also perfuse the abdomen and the extremities so in this case on our Doppler we are not seeing any flow here to show that there is perfusion in the aorta or the inferior vena cava there is no blood flow there is no blood flow that you can see again going up like this you can see that this is our gallbladder that is nicely depicted here and then our ascites and we have our liver here and somewhere down there our bowels so in this particular case we also found that this fetus was a boy so you can see the, the scrotum here and then you can see the scrotal raphe then there's a penis which is up here and there is free fluid in the sex so this is bilateral hydrocell there is collection of fluid here our penis is here and then the swollen testicles are fluid filled that is bilateral hydrocell so that's another pocket where fluid is collecting collecting in the testicles and then we have got our adequate lack of volume here uh, our amniotic fluid is adequate there there was no polyhydraminous so the other thing that is very critical when you're doing an ultrasound scan to of a fetus or in pregnancy is to assess 
for fit of viability, we also need to do the heart rate. So, on this particular scan, as you can see here, from the OL mode trace, there is no flow here, there is no flow in the heart. So the heart rate was actually zero. You can see the, the, the wave form is actually flattened. There is no flow there. So here is a sad case of a fetal demise. This fetus with the eye drops, fetalis, was actually demised. No flow and the waste has come to the waste. Imagine you're in the shoes of the mother, you're expecting after a long time of trying, and then you actually experience a sad reality of a demise like this. So this is one of the nightmares of giving birth. You can actually see the here, our urinal bladder is here, and then there's a hell lot of ascites that you can see around the bowels and the abdominal organs the liver the liver sorry is actually floating in ascites playing it again our bowels you can see the hair a lot of fluid that is here and then our urinal bladder there this is a video that is showing the two compartments so you can see here is part of the thoracic space where you see some effusion so this effusion is characteristics or characteristic of plural effusion and you can see this other compartment here we do have got our ascites so this is a typical case of high drops fetalis we are seeing collection of fluid in the abdominal cavity and a collection of fluid in the thoracic cavity to qualify it as high drops fetalis so in general Giving birth comes with its own challenges. Yes, it is very pertinent for every pregnant woman to seek an ultrasound scan as early as it is possible so that if some of these abnormalities are detected early, especially at the 11 to 13 plus 6 days, the first trimester scan, it would be of great value and management can be affected when there is still time. Thank you so much.